Ubuntu for Dummies Part 2. Alright guys, I wanted to uh, pick up from Ubuntu for Dummies Part 1. As you can see here, I uh, changed my uh, background here on my desktop to this rather gloomy looking uh, orange uh, sunset, but cool looking nonetheless. Well, anyway, let me focus your attention here on the top left of the top panel here on the left we have applications places system menu and the uh, sub menu let's begin with applications here we have accessories games graphics internet office sound and video system tools and the ubuntu software center from accessories so oh, let's go to let's see for newbies let's try uh Let's try something simple. Search for files. And this is similar to uh, searching for files under, say, Windows XP. Uh, I'm just going to type in, say, um, pictures. Find. And of course, from here, it'll bring up my feature, pictures folder and the files in that folder. So, again, this is similar to what you would use in uh, Windows XP, and I can change from list view compact view and so on and so forth here and just to exit out just click the X button here so this is how to use the search for files uh, function again that was under um, close this out that was under application accessories and search for files uh, as far as the games go um, this is rather self-explanatory these are some of the uh, pre-installed games when you download Ubuntu you can blackjack uh, do blackjack, chess, so on and so forth. Graphics. Um, this is uh, GIMP. Usually comes uh, default uh, installer software for editing your uh, photographs. Um, scroll down the internet. Again, this is uh, self-explanatory. Firefox would be the uh, default uh, browser for Ubuntu, and Ubuntu One is a new uh, piece of software that's exclusive to Ubuntu. This is basically an online file storage program. I believe maximum of two gigabytes of online storage. Um, go to Office. Uh, OpenOffice.org is the default word processing software for Ubuntu. Sound and video. I believe Brazerio Disc Burner, Movie Player, Rhythm Box, Sound Recorder are the standard installation um, software for Ubuntu. I just uh, downloaded a few other items uh, here such as MP3 uh, splitter. System tools, uh, I believe here I downloaded uh, Bleach Bit and Ubuntu Tweak. Uh, Ubuntu Tweak is a really really nice uh, piece of software that lets you tweak or uh, fine-tune your uh, your Ubuntu's Ubuntu operating system this really does a lot. I don't have time to talk about this in this. I'll have to pick another day and webcast to talk about this really fine program called Ubuntu Tweak. Alright, we go to places. Again, this is probably uh, self-explanatory. I got my home folder, my desktop. Uh, if you remember before, I clicked, uh, uh, I typed in pictures on the search for files. <clears throat> Excuse me, search for files, and this brought up my pictures folder here on the right and on the left. This, again, this is somewhat similar to Windows. You can go to documents, music, videos, downloads, file systems, so on and so forth. Let me exit out of here. Um, i like to focus your attention here on system. Um, this is where you're going to be doing uh, or updating your brand new um, Ubuntu operating system. Uh, let me focus your attention here to System Administration. Scroll down to um, Update Manager. Now, I already did an update a few days ago, so this shouldn't be much for me to update. But let me get this started. I'll show you what it looks like. It's <coughs> it's picking up the updates, what to do. And as you can see, I actually... I, oh, I forgot. I actually did an update about an hour ago. So... If I did have updates, it would show here, and you can look at the list if there was a list. I don't have one right now, and you could update your system from here. And if you look here at the right, this would be highlighted to install updates. Okay, let me close that. Let me go back to system administration. Um, you should familiarize yourself with the synaptic package 
manager. This, um, after you type in your password, of course, the Synaptic um, Manager, Package Manager, basically goes online to hook up to the repositories of software that is available out there on the internet. Uh, let me just type in, oh, let me type in, uh, say, Amarok. As you can see here, it brings up the Amarok software, which is a multimedia player. I'm just going to click that, mark for installation. And as you can see, this has dependencies here. Okay, um, if I were to click mark, click apply, and this would ask you, do you want to apply the following changes? Now, this is about 200 and uh, uh, 230 megabytes of extra space will be used, 59 new packages will be installed, uh, 71.2 megabytes will have to be downloaded. Now since I'm doing a quick video here, I won't have time to really download this, so I'll uh, click cancel. But if I did download this, and by the way it's asking me do I want to quick quit and discard the mark changes, yes I want to quit. If I did download that multimedia player, where would you think that would be installed in, in your Ubuntu operating system? Well, would you think it would be under applications and say sound and video? You would be right. If I had downloaded and installed that, it would have been installed right here under the sound and video sub-menu. Alright, there you have it. That's Ubuntu for Dummies Part 2. I will continue this, of course, in part three and thank you for watching this edition of total os today thanks guys